The James Webb Space Telescope, NASA's most powerful and advanced space observatory to date, is a breathtaking and expensive scientific accomplishment. It has produced spectacular images of star clusters and nebulae in the Milky Way galaxy. Hello and welcome to AWZ News. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Let's take a look at these amazing photos. First up, the Hockey Stick Galaxy, also known as NGC 4656. This unusual galaxy is situated in the Hunting Dogs, or Cairns Venetici, constellation. The Hockey Stick Galaxy is a stunning galaxy, but the image that is now accessible only shows a portion of it. The galaxy gets its name from its long, twisted shape, which resembles a cosmic hockey stick. We are unsure of the reason behind the galaxy's unique shape because the photograph only shows its bright core region. Astronomers are still exploring this intriguing cosmic structure because research on the hockey stick galaxy may shed light on the origins and development of galaxies. The second deepest JWST survey the target zone for the James Webb Space Telescopes is seen in this figure. Researchers used Webb's near-infrared camera, also known as NIRCAM, to capture this region in nine different infrared wavelength bands. They then used these images to search for fade galaxies, whose infrared light can be detected but whose spectra have a specific cutoff wavelength. They also used Webb's near-infrared spectrograph, also known as near-spec, to measure the properties of the gas and stars in these galaxies and estimate their distances based on their redshifts. This advanced deep extragalactic survey, also known as JADES, is located in this region and extends to the north and east. The supplementary observations are not displayed in this image. Blue is represented by 1.15 microns in F115W, green by 2.0 microns in F200W, and red by 4.44 microns in F444W. NGC 6753, also known as the World of Color, is an impressive illustration of the varied structures and populations present in galaxies. The varying colors of its stars in the spiral arms indicate the various ages and evolutionary stages found in the galaxy, while the blue area implies continued star formation. The red patches show the presence of older developed stars, however even though we can now detect and classify galaxies according to their characteristics, the process of galaxy formation is still a topic of ongoing discussion and investigation. The vast range of observable galaxy types, ranging from irregulars to ellipticals, presents a challenge to astronomers in terms of developing theories to explain this diversity. The interaction between gravitational gas dynamics and feedback processes from stars and black holes is a key component of current models of galaxy formation. But there is still much to learn about the specific mechanisms that shape and change galaxies throughout cosmic time. Number 4 Blessed Bonanza NGC 1569 is a dwarf galaxy that is close to our Milky Way but has a very different appearance. It is filled with huge bubbles and super bubbles of hydrogen gas, which are the result of the intense star formation that took place in its core. The galaxy's blue star clusters are the result of a starburst of starbirth that started 25 million years ago and lasted for about 10 million years meaning that the starburst ended around the time humans emerged on Earth. The gas bubbles glow when they are struck by the winds and radiation from hot young stars and the shock waves from supernova explosions. Number 5 Smoke Without Fire NGC 1569 demonstrates how star formation in tiny galaxies may be extremely complicated and violent. This crisp view of the Messier 82 galaxy sometimes referred to as the Cigar Galaxy, displays its remarkable beauty and distinctive features. Situated in the Ursa Major constellation, the galaxy is a starburst galaxy that generates new stars at a rapid pace, barely 12 million light-years from Earth. 
The image highlights the gas and dust while displaying the galaxy's black, dusty lanes and brilliant pinkish-red clouds of hydrogen gas swirling around its core. Additional images of M82 show that it has a stellar population made up of young, massive stars that power starburst activity. To learn more about galaxy evolution and the formation and evolution of stars inside them, astronomers examine the Cigar Galaxy. Using data from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope and Hubble Space Telescope researchers, scientists expect to learn more about this intriguing item in the number six interacting galaxy in the future through advanced telescopes and imaging technology. From the dazzling white elliptical galaxy on the left to the spiral galaxy on the right, trace the light and discover dust in between stars in a spiral galaxy combining Webb's near-infrared data with Hubble's ultraviolet and visible light data. This image of galaxy pair VV191 shows the galaxy's dusty spiral arms on the right, which overlap with the elliptical galaxy on the left. Despite their close proximity, the two galaxies in the foreground are not interacting. The image's background is made up of numerous far-off galaxies. The elliptical galaxy is surrounded by two fuzzy spirals that are similar in size but distinct in hue. Seven Dwarf Galaxy, or WLM, is a dwarf galaxy that orbits the Milky Way but is isolated from other galaxies in its vicinity. It is one of the closest galaxies to Earth, at roughly 3 million light-years away. Because WLM has a low abundance of heavy elements like iron and oxygen, elements mostly produced by massive stars that explode at the end of their lives and create powerful galactic winds that blow away the gas and dust from the galaxy. It is a good candidate for studying how galaxies formed and evolved in the early universe. Throughout its history, WLM has produced stars, but some of them have also departed the galaxy as a result of supernova explosions. The reason WLM is fascinating is that it demonstrates how stars develop and alter in tiny galaxies, similar to those that existed in the primordial cosmos before merging into bigger ones. The eighth the stars in NGC 3201 stand out in this image of a globular cluster with hundreds of thousands of stars. Scottish astronomer James Dunlop first observed the cluster in 1826, reporting that it was a large, bright object with an uneven appearance in the center. Globular clusters are common around large galaxies, but little is known about their formation or functions. With a black hole at its center, NGC 3201 is unlike any other cluster in the Milky Way. It moves quickly and in the opposite direction from the galaxy center, suggesting that it originated elsewhere and was drawn in by the Milky Way. However, its stars resemble those of other clusters in our galaxy, suggesting that it may have been born here and changed significantly over time. Astronomers refer the cluster NGC 3201, which is both unusual and beautiful, as the mammoth stars. The picture perfectly depicts the breathtaking grandeur of the Trumpler 16 star cluster, which is housed within the Carina Nebula, one of our galaxy's most enormous and brightest nebulas. At the center of the cluster are two massive stars, WR25 and TR16244. These stars, which have a combined mass of over 50 times that of our Sun, are among the most massive and bright objects in the universe. Their intense radiation and stellar winds sculpt the surrounding nebula, forming complex structures and influencing the evolution of the cluster's other stars. They shine brilliantly against a background of swirling gas and dust. We hope you enjoyed viewing this video. The image provides a tantalizing insight into the dynamic and complicated realm of star formation, where enormous stars are born and influence the evolution of their surrounds. Until the end, which image most amazed you? Let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed the movie, please hit the like and subscribe buttons to receive updates on new content. Until then, enjoy our upcoming video.